Hi everybody, reading skills for Wednesday. Before we get into reading skills, how are you today? Are you okay? I really hope so. While I'm recording this on Tuesday, it's raining and it's wet and it's windy. And I'm really looking forward to taking you through reading skills this morning. <laughs> okay, let's have a little look. So today, for Wednesday, we are learning to use and apply our prediction skills. We've been doing that before, haven't we? Yeah. First of all, we're going to have a little bit of sight word practice. Let's go through them first. You. Oh. My mouse is a bit strange today, children. It's getting a bit dodgy. Let's try again. Okay, you, what, with, this, do, if, like, these, your. Now once more on your own. Okay, I've got a little activity. Let's see if it was working. Let's see if I can get it up. Let's come out of here. And I'm going to put this up for you. Ah, okay. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to do something called visualisation. So I'm going to say the word. And you're going to try and see if you can get what it looks like in your mind's eye. What the word looks like. So you can shut your eyes if you want. Now, over here on the right, I've got some magic paper. You see that grey square? That's my magic paper. So I'm going to say the word. And you are going to try and have to think about what it looks like. And then I will reveal it in the magic paper. OK, so we're going to go out of order too. So we're not going to do it in the same order. I hope I can remember all the words. Ooh. Let's have a little think. Right, we're going to have a look at this word. I've given you the first couple of letters and see if we can remember. So I think maybe you can write me the word, try the word like. Can you remember what the word like looks like? Okay, I'm going to reveal it now. Are you ready? There it is, like. Did you get that one right? Do you remember the E on the end? Hopefully you didn't put a C in it as well. Okay. Oh, okay, what about the word with? With. Shut your eyes if you need to. Try and see what it might look like on the page in your brain. I'm going to reveal it. Ready? with. Next one, you. You. There we go, you. If. I haven't got any beginning letters for if. See if you can remember what if looks like. I hope this is if. Yay! If. Do. See if you can visualise what do looks like. Do. I hope that's over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Do. Okay. What? What does what look like? Here it comes. What? Next one. Your. Your. And that's a U R, short for you are.
Right. Now, there are two words left beginning with that digraph there. Uh, one of them's this and one of them's these. And I can't remember which one is which. So <laughs> we might get this one a bit muddled up. Never mind. Let's have a look. Why don't you try and visualize both this and these and we'll reveal them one after another. So try and do this first. And then try and do these, this and these. OK, ready? That one's this. And that one's these. Mm -hmm. How did you get on? How did you get on? Let's go back into our other stuff. OK, slideshow from current slide. There we go. You, what, with this, do, if, like, these, your. Right, do you remember what prediction is? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Prediction is a guess you make based off of clues in text or pictures. And don't forget you're bringing your own experience and knowledge to that prediction. That's really important. So it's now time for our prediction warm up. We're going to do the warm up. Here is a picture of some animals. What happens next? Pause the screen now and have a little think. What do you think? Yeah, well, I think you're right. I think the cat is going to pounce on the hamster. Yeah, it's a hamster, by the way. It's not a mouse, it's a hamster. What do you think the hamster is eating? That's my question. Where did the hamster get the tortilla chips from? That's what I want to know. I do. OK, so we're going to look at some book covers and look for clues. You are going to try and predict who the characters are and where the story takes place. You need to say what you see. You need to look in detail at the picture. There might be small extra clues. And you need to ask questions if things seem slightly different to normal. I'm just going to go on. I'm not quite sure what's happening here. <laughs> yes, the first slide, you'll be given some information about the book. And on the second slide, there'll be some more information so that you can change or add to your prediction. That's why I need to go back. So there you go. That's your first picture. What can you see? Yeah, happy with that? So you can see lots of trees. You can see a little boy. The book, if you can read the title, is called Into the Forest. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Now there's a little extra clue here. Don't just say, oh, I can see a boy. He's the main character in the book. And the setting is the forest. Yes, that's obvious. What's this here? It's a basket. Hmm. That might be an extra clue to some details in the story. So let's keep going. Uh -huh. Here we go. Here's some more clues. In the first picture... There's a boy with a cow in the forest. Hmm. He seems to be shouting out after this boy, but this boy is just keeping walking with his basket. Next clue. Hmm. He looks like he's running away from something. And he's got, he's now got a red coat on. It's snowing too. I think you can see the snowing too. Hmm. 
I wonder why he's got a red coat on. I think that might be important. Now, again, the boy's arriving at a little cottage. He's still got his basket and he's still got his red coat. In the last picture, he's having a hug with his granny who's in bed. Who's in bed, maybe she's asleep, maybe she's sick. So now you've got some extra clues there. Try and make a prediction about maybe what the story's about even. What do you think? Okay, well I can reveal to you, now that you've made your prediction, that the story is a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. And it's uh, got a little boy in it instead and it's slightly different to Little Red Riding Hood um, that we know. It's like a modern day retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. Good, did you get that? That's why you need to look at some of the clues. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a book called Leon and the Place Between. What can you see on the front cover? Pause the video now and to get your initial thoughts. Okay, hopefully you've got some initial thoughts. We're going to go on to the next pictures. I'm not going to do much talking. You're going to pause the video and see what you think and then I'm going to reveal it to you. Okay, have you paused the video? Have you had some thinking time? Have you said what you can see and asked questions and picked up on some of the detail? So the story is an adventure story. It's about Leon and his friends and they go to a circus and they meet a magician and the magician sends Leon on an adventure ride. And he's having a ride on a magic carpet there. Did you get that the story was magical? It was about a little boy? Yeah, if you got that, that's a good prediction. You can't predict all the things. Next one. Okay, here's a book called Bigu. What can you see on the front cover? Tell me who you think the character is and where the story takes place. Okay, first thoughts done. Let's have some new thoughts now. Pause the video and have a look at the 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 pictures in detail have a real think about how you think bigu because i think this is bigu is feeling here pause the video okay so is your prediction correct bigu is an alien who's crash landed on earth lands in the city and feels very lost and alone but finds some friends in the children at a school and then manages to get back home and tell and finds his mum and dad and feels better again so it's about if you've got it's about i thought at first bigo was bigo was a toy but he's not he's an alien but if you've got that he was lost and lonely but eventually found happiness. That's a good prediction. Okay, one of my favourite stories. This is the Paper Bag Princess. Who are the characters? And where do you think it is set? 
Pause the video. Have some thinking time. Got your first thoughts in your head right? Let's have some more pictures. Okay, so what have you come up with? What did you say? So, <laughs> the main character is a princess and there's also a dragon in it. The setting is a castle, a fairy tale castle. You can see that by the door, can't you, on the, on the front cover. All right, so it's a castle. There's a cave involved as well. So the story is about a dragon who burns up the whole of the kingdom, including uh, the princess's clothes. And she doesn't have anything to wear. You can see she doesn't have anything to wear. So she has to wear a paper bag because that's the only thing that's left. And while she's wearing her paper bag, she rescues the prince and she gets rid of the dragon. <laughs> and it's a great story. I'll have to get it and read it to you and put it put it up on the YouTube channel. Because at the end of the story, the prince here tells the prince off, princess off for not looking princess princess like enough. Even though she's rescued him, he's very ungrateful. And she basically says, "Well, I'm off. I'm sorry that you're really cross that I rescued you, but I don't need you. Thank you very much." And she goes off on her own. It's very happy on her own. I think it's the best story ever. <laughs> How ungrateful is the prince? You mustn't be ungrateful. If somebody does something for you, even if you don't like it, you must be grateful. Right, next book. Bear and Piano. Please don't say it's about a bear and a piano. Try and tell me where you think it might be set. where the story takes place. Pause the video now, tell me where the story takes place. Mm, okay, let's go on, let's have some more pictures. Okay, there's some questions here, because I've asked you about the setting. So I think there are two different settings in this book. What do you think? So one of the settings is the forest or the wood. And the other setting is in the city, the big city. I don't think you can see this picture properly, can you? I'm going to go back. I'm going to come out of it and try and make that picture there, like that. There we go. Can you see that now? So yes, it's set in the wood. It's also set in the city. So here we have Bear. He plays the piano in the wood. And the, bear, the other bears don't like it and they send him away. And they send him away to the city where he becomes the most famous pianist. And here he is in a theatre playing the piano. But look, he's lonely in the city and he's looking up at the stars. He's very lonely. So he goes back home. And when he goes back home, he finds that the bears have missed him. And while he's been gone, they've set him up this little me memory kind of tree where he used to play the piano and he feels all at home again. It's a really nice story. Beautiful pictures as well. Okay, how did you get on? Did you enjoy that? Can you remember what prediction means? Of course you can. You've been doing it for the whole week. It's a clever guess, isn't it? Based on the text or the pictures. Now, what I'd like you to do, I would like you to read again the story that we've been looking at. What do you do with a tale like this? You can do it 
uh, click on the link. You'll have to do that in a separate PowerPoint, or you can look at the two PowerPoints provided. We're going to do some decoding tomorrow, which means we're actually going to read the book together. So you might need the two PowerPoints. I've had to include it in two in two separate PowerPoints because the files are quite large because of all the pictures. All right. Bye for now, you one. See you soon.